Hello out there. We're on the air. Oh yeah, boys. Yes, Tyson boy, finally made it. How's it going, buddy? Stephenville. Yeah, it's pretty brutal here today. Blizzard conditions out there now. Actually, it's slacked off a little bit. Maryland. What's up, Jack? What's up, Chris? Not bad in CBS, no. Slacked off a little bit here now, I think. What's up, Mark? Rogue Squatcher, what's up? What's going on? IRC, what's up? Yeah, I came right from the house today on quad. Instead of loading her in the truck, I just left the truck home and came right to the cabin. Northeast Illinois, what's up, William? What's up, Greg? Harold? Yeah, nice and warm in the cabin now. Terry from Fredericton, what's up? Joy Yarmouth. What's up, Mark? What's up, Greg? Nice. What's up, Terry? What's up, Robbie? Hi, Lois. JFK. Down in Maine. Oxbury, Ontario. Kingston, Nova Scotia. I would assume. Jasper, yeah, it's cold in, uh, cold in Alberta, eh? Overnight, yeah, overnight at the cabin, yeah. Albuquerque. What's up, Martha? Girlfriend from Millertown, okay. Thanks, JC. Warsaw, Ontario. You gotta watch the video, see what I eat, man. You know that. What's up, Noel? Gerald all the way from Gander. How much snow? Uh, yeah, I think 25 to 35 or something like that. Centimeters. Oakville, Ontario, Marco. Hiawatha. David. Whitburn. Oh, we were supposed to go to Whitburn this weekend for a hockey tournament, but I don't know what's going on. All the hockey is shut down until Friday now, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any tournaments going on this weekend. What's up, Chad? Yeah, another 5 to 10, yeah, tonight. James from Moncton. Six inches on winter, probably, eh? Portugal Cove. 
Yes, Marco, that'd be nice, eh? A mild 30, uh, what is it? 63. So what's that in uh, Celsius? Getting a Snapchat from my daughter there now. She's probably going to bed. What's up, Joshua? Yeah, Chris, I think that's why he shut, shut, got it shut down for a bit to see. Hopefully it settles down over the next few days there. Thanks, Russell. Richard from St. John's. 18 Celsius, Chad says. That's what 63 is. Okay, yeah, 17, 18. Yeah, bit of snow on the go. Yeah. Plans for the cabin? I don't know. I need a new roof and all that. New waterproofing. That'll be the. That'll be down the road though. I'll probably save uh, Patreon donations, save it up, and uh, put some new roofing on. Some permanent roofing. Probably torch on, I'd say. Any ice out your way? Nope, no ice. Not sure if you mean. Uh, pond ice or if you mean sea ice but either way there's not there's no sea ice and there's not much pond ice awesome it's, yeah it's cozy at the cabin here tonight pa buddy did the snared moose get all eaten yes the snared moose there was nothing left to it Torch on, yeah. That's what I say I'm going with. I got a buddy who does torch on, so. Uh, I'm probably not going to do any trapping. I might do some, uh, I might do some rabbit snaring here. I don't, I don't think I'm going to get around to doing any trapping. The weather is just... All over the place anyway, right? <laughs> Marco, that's funny, man. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty chilly a week now. See Andrew's post today? No, I didn't. What's Andrew saying? Yeah, I still got the tracks on. Yeah, good job. I left them on. We're expecting 25 to 35 in total. Solar panels, awesome. Tyson. I charged my phone already a couple times since I was here, and I've had three, three of the four lights on at a time, and it's working awesome. I'm sure the deep cycle battery is... Uh, is uh, helping out a lot too. No, I haven't had a chance to go ice fishing or skating yet. It's still a little too risky, but I'm ho I'm hoping uh, soon. What's up, Tobin Lake? Yeah, still got the tracks on, Jason. Minus forty. Yeah. Not much moving. What's up, Dwayne? Should be a good year for sea trout, okay. No, we don't have any we don't have any maples close by. Not not maples that you would tap anyway. Not big ones or anything.
logs oh man the logs was sitting around for four or five years some of them before i uh, stacked them right took me four years start to finish to get it all done No, it's, it's a bit risky on the ponds, eh? Seen something falling there then, outside. Snow falling off the roof, I'd say. Snowshoe hare is around here. There we go. If you're watching on the phone or something, I think you could swipe the comments. Swipe them to the side or something, and they'll disappear. Oh, I'll film, yeah, if I go ice fishing. Family's good. Family's all good. Grouchy fish. Kids are back in school, yeah. Kids been back in school since September. Nine Fahrenheit in Chicago. 75 in Florida. So you guys can you guys can travel state to state, eh? No restrictions on that or what? Like I can leave the province, but if I come back, then I gotta isolate for fourteen days, right? No, I'm probably not gonna do any trapping this year. No, I was late getting laid off there, and. You know, I'm pretty busy still, even though I'm not working right now, but. Yeah, smash that thumbs up, eh, Chad? John's 43. Yeah, my sister-in-law owns a restaurant in uh, Stony Plain, actually. Winging it. Winging it restaurant. I seen they just, uh, yeah, I seen that Fred Riley scored, eh? I think. Yeah, the restaurant's open for sitting just today in Alberta, Mark. Yeah, that's uh, my sister-in-law owns a restaurant. So anyone, anyone watching from Alberta or near Edmonton, go out and check out my sister-in-law's uh, restaurant, Stony Plain. It's called Winging It. There's very few of them in Alberta, I think. But she's got one of them. Yes, restrictions, but people don't listen. Okay. Yeah, smoker. I would, I would have smoked some meat today, only for a, it was a snowstorm. Next time I come down, you need lots and lots of time here for that. So I, I got to kind of do it when I'm going to be here all day, like from morning to evening, you know. You want at least probably eight hours in, on the smoker. And then you got to be tending to it every... 10 or 15 minutes so makes for a long day it's not this like you can't even you can't even just get it going and leave you know what i mean go somewhere and come back like you got to be there for a long time but it's always worth it when it's uh when you take the meat out of there i travel between four states for work no restrictions okay Sorry about the zoom going in and out there, but in the focus or whatever, but like I got to scroll the comments up and every time I touch the screen to scroll a comment, that happens, eh? That's why I bought a pellet smoker. Yeah, this one is just a, uh, just a homemade smoker, right? Sure. Okay. City of Chicago. Yeah. Like how do they enforce that, right? How do they, uh. IRC Adventures. I've been there at that wing and it. Nice, man. That's my girlfriend's uh, sister owns that. Has a new dark roast at Timmy's. Couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to do an overnight. Actually, I wanted to do an overnight, a bushcraft overnight in a snowstorm. That would have been awesome, but... And it would have been a bit of a, a challenge, you know. Maybe the next snowstorm I'll stay out in the stay out in the bush instead of the cabin. 
Hey, John H. Do I stay overnight often? Not as often as I'd like. That's right. Oh, I'm pretty comfortable, that's for sure. All right, later, Chad, man. Yeah, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see if I can find a recipe and see how hard it is to make. No, I've never had a salmon license, but if I if I actually don't have to leave the province this year, I'll probably have one. Should get Barber down for an overnight. I told Barber he could come anytime, man. Even if uh, he just wants to come and use the cabin, him and his old lady and the dogs, right? Anytime. Did I do any building on my new home? Are you enjoying the land? Yes, I'm enjoying the land, and I'll enjoy it tomorrow when I'm plowing the, plowing the driveway. But I didn't do any building on there yet, nope. I want to build a hockey rink for the kids, but we've been having mild temperatures lately, so. Okay. Do I ocean fish? No. I'm not very good on the ocean. Not very good on the, in a boat. I can manage a canoe, but... Nothing on the ocean. But you never know. I might do some uh, cod jigging this summer. Food fishery. Sea bass, I imagine? No. No. If I was doing any fishing on the ocean here, it would just be codfish. And it would be, uh, it would be like specified weekends or whatever. For, for uh, just uh, people to get... Five fish, five fish a day, just for for uh, to put in the freezer. You know what I mean? What do I think of my grizzly? I loves the grizzly, man. Loves her. How many acres does your cabin sit on? You're not designated any land when you have uh, license to occupy. Actually, you just allowed to build there, and I think people are not allowed to cut wood or anything within. Uh, I want to say 400 feet, but I can't remember what it is, but. Cod, mackerel, redfish, only real fish we can target here. Yeah, pretty much. Raymond, New Hampshire. NH, I would say, is New Hampshire, right? Louise? Any salmon rivers out your way? Yeah, there's a couple. Well, you got a little drive to get to them, but within 30 minutes anyway. 30 minutes. There's one. No, I don't have any plans on, on uh, lightening up the logs. No. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, having a good one, buddy. Nice relaxing night, man. Laying back on the couch with my feet up, doing a bit of reading. Actually working on that old chair tonight a little bit. I got it glued up somewhat. Raymond, New Hampshire. Louise is NH, New Hampshire. I see you put it in there a few times now. I don't know uh, if it's delayed going in there or what. Has the cabin ever been vandalized? No, it hasn't. No, knock on wood. But I have I have uh, trail cameras around and stuff, so I do see when people are here. And, uh, like, I've got a sign on the window and stuff saying that you're on camera or whatever. But I don't lock the door here. I don't lock the door. So people come. Sometimes they'll come in. I know I've came. I've, I've come here and uh, there's been a beer can on the table or something like that. But... Like, people are, are usually respectful. This is not a high traffic area where I am. You kind of go got to go off the beaten path to get here. So, you know. And I have trail cameras, like I said. So, 
So if anybody's in the area, I, I, I know when when they're here and whatever, right? And even when I'm not around, like when I'm away working, I have people checking on the cabin all the time. So, and like they'll come and switch out memory cards in the ca in the cameras for me and stuff. Check the cameras. <clears throat> What's your favorite music and band? Oh, man. I like everything. I like all kinds of music, man. Everything except... Except... Guess what? Someone someone guess. There's only one type of music I don't like. See if you can guess what it is there, x monster. I can listen to anything, man. I have Christmas music on in November. You guys got two feet, eh? On the West Coast. Thank you, Louise. They are nearest these Swift Current Colliers, yeah. Port Rexon is our nearest, uh, our nearest uh, salmon river, I believe. But like I said, I don't salmon fish, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. Yes, Tyson, boy. It's all right to have a bit of time off, rest, and relax. Figure easy, buddy. What am I cooking for dinner? You got to watch the video tomorrow night, no? Martha? You'll see. I'll give you a hint. It was delicious. Nothing on the stove tonight. No, only uh, only the kettle. Gonna have a cup of tea now after. How far of a hike to the coast? Uh, one kilometer from here. Ariel, hi Ariel. Is it already uh, Tuesday in where you're from, Ariel? Pretty sure, eh? Snipezilla from Illinois. How's it going? Yeah, I got meat eater and uh, I was just looking at this one tonight. Compact cabins. Bunch of different designs in there. I bought this one at a thrift store in Edmonton, I think. I got pretty much buy everything. But yeah, I got the meat eater book there too. Have I ever watched Justin Barber? Yes, I have. Yeah, if you go back almost two years, there's a video of me and Barber on a on a trip together. I think it was May, May 2019. So if you go back, you can find that. And if you go back in Barber's videos, you can find one he made on our trip too. Do you hunt ptarmigan? No, nope, not many around here. I haven't. I I probably seen one two years ago. So not really worth hunting. You're not thick like up in uh, Labrador there, where uh, Big Land Trapper Trappers at William Larkin Jr. Jeez, he gets a lot of time. Worst thing you can do is lock a cabin in the woods. Yes, sir. Yeah, if someone wants to get in and do damage, they're gonna do it, right? I just leave the door unlocked and and I just hope people are respectful, right? I don't mind anybody stopping here and, and sitting down and, and you know enjoy the view and take a rest, whatever. You wanna they wanna boil the kid on have a cup of tea, go ahead. As long as they respect my cabin, right? That's a data warning. Using too much data, he said. Well, you say you uh, got some mess of snow here in PR, yes, but William from Texas, what's up? 
Chris is right, but country music, man. I can't fucking stand country music. Sorry about the language. I can't stand it. Every damn song is the same. Man. <laughs> yeah, boys, I got it right. Rap? No, I like rap. Country music is the only one I can't listen to, man. Bagpipes? I'd listen to bagpipes 24 hours a day before I listen to one country song. Opera? I'd listen to opera too before I listen to country. Barbara say would be on the alone TV show? I don't think so. Greeley, Pennsylvania. Man, I've got, uh, on my Spotify, I've got, like, playlists from the 50s, 50s music, all that stuff. I got 80s rock playlists. I got hip-hop playlists. I got everything, man. Metallica. I got Michael Jackson. But it's not one damn country song on there. Unless they're, well, the wife argues with me, says there, it is a country song, but it's a hip-hop song. Really, that's a long story. Jazz music, gospel. Yeah, I probably wouldn't listen to gospel either, actually. But I probably would before country music. Where's the beer? Beer is un under the counter, keeping cool, man. I have one with my supper, actually. Echo in the Forest from Texas. What state are you in right now? I've been in a lot of states back in the day, but since I gave up drinking, I haven't been in many states. Tuesday, 12, 25 p.m. here, yeah. So you guys are 15 hours ahead of us, eh? Minus 46 with the wind chill. Fort Lauderdale. What's up, Jared? Hometown is Fairbanks, Alaska. Yes, boy. You went from uh, Alaska to Florida, eh? GF. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Noel. Yeah, man, me and Barry, we've been trying to get together ever since, but, you know, schedules and we don't live really close to each other, you know? Maybe someday. What's up, Carson? Thanks for tuning in, buddy. How much snow do we get? It's not much out there yet. Well, it's quite a bit, actually. It's over 20 centimeters out there, I'd say. It's okay. Custom keep car doors unlocked because of polar bears. Okay, so if someone's running from a polar bear, they could jump in your car, I guess, eh? Can I do more cooking vids? What do you mean? Open fire? I cook in pretty much every video, I think. Ow. Thanks, George. Thanks, Mark. Echo in the forest. Thank you. Newfoundland music, yeah, I got a few Newfoundland uh, playlists. I got a Christmas Newfoundland playlist, and I got a regular Newfoundland playlist. I used to say I'm from the country, so I don't have to listen to it. <laughs> yeah, I probably should be law.
Double A round. Yo, second day. All right, Chris, later, man. <laughs> cabin is, um, cabin's 12 by 16. Did I build it? Yes. How long? If you mean time-wise, it was uh, about four years start to finish because, well, for lots of reasons, but yeah, four years. Four years start to finish, but if you mean how long is how long is the cabin? It's sixteen feet. You don't know what real music is, dumb ass. Okay. Techno Ramstein. Smoke weed? No, I don't smoke weed, no. Cheers from New York. Crazy time difference, yeah. Thank you, Lois. Greatly appreciate it. What's up, Jason? Yeah, I still got tracks on. Good job. I lift them out, I'd say. Thanks, Gerald. Chuck Porter? No, I don't. I have, I've had a couple of people mention that to me now. I, I think I did subscribe to him, though. Come to think of it. Lately, too. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that tonight, probably. Volvo guy. Yeah, I'll see if I can do that tonight. Curly's. Gordon Angie, what's up? Training's coming along good. I missed it. John H., thanks, man. Appreciate that, buddy. Keep an eye for the polar bears. Well, no ice no ice uh, down this way yet from, from Labrador, so hopefully no polar bears. I don't have a gun or anything, so... I really hope no polar bears. They have been in this area before, though. Any advice on hot tenting? No, no advice at all because I I haven't done it really. I, I I made a homemade stove one time. I took it once and built a TP out of a tarp, and that was it. That's an old video there too somewhere. You want to talk to anyone about hot tenting, barbers, your man, or, or up north of 60, someone like that. Solar's awesome. Solar's working out great. How can you not like country music? I just don't like it. Uh, yep. Yeah. All kinds of colors. But all the orders are done now, and the hoodies are on the way, I think. Scroll down, Troy. You're behind in the chat. How far behind am I, boys? Okay, here we'll see you. What do I do for a living? Right now I'm a uh, right now I'm a site inspector for an engineering company. Did you get your logs after? Nope, never cut none yet, but it's coming real soon. I'm gonna get out of here right away actually. Jeez, I'm always pulling muscles actually. I woke up with a sore back this morning.
Well, Wolf was wondering what the hardest obstacle when building the log cabin. Well, it was, uh, I don't know. It wasn't nothing hard about building the log cabin. It was hard getting time to build the log cabin. That was the hardest obstacle. Different area, yep. I don't know about different size yet for the cabin, next cabin. What's up, off grid bowl? Yep, trying to get lots of videos up, man. Keith, what's up? I was told I was behind on the comments here. I'm trying to scroll, scroll through fast, but I think I'm there now. Keith from Niagara, yep. Yeah. That's a beautiful area out there, man. The wife especially loves the uh, outlet stores out there. <laughs> 12 to 15 inches of snow, eh? Some heat coming from that stove now. My God. Yeah, all caught up there, Mustang. Survival nurse, what's up? Scene of New York, Freddy. Yeah, bit of snow, bit of snow. We got it. I don't know, probably ten inches out there now. More, more coming overnight. Twenty minutes from those stores. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we were there in uh, 2016. We drove up, seen a couple of Blue Jays games, went to Niagara Falls, went to the zoo and all that stuff. Went to Bass Pro there at the outlets, out, outlet place. We want to come to Toronto again, man, soon. That area. Probably go back to Niagara Falls and stuff. What kind of cabin am I building? Next one is going to be a log cabin, but it's going to be a... Uh, Full logs with the notch, right? Sort of like Dick Prennicky and uh, Sean James, that, that kind of cabin, you know? Maurice from New Brunswick, what's up? Survival nurse, time for tea. Yep, my kettle's just about bored, actually. Here in Newfoundland, eh? Jacob. You don't think of putting more insulation into the cabin? No, I don't want any more insulation. No. It's 192 square feet, and my wood stove is good for like 12 or 13 or 1500 square feet. So, Keith, I'll let you know, buddy. Stop for a coffee. Yeah, we usually get a lot of snow. Last January, we had a little bit of snow. 2019. Well, Christopher, you can send the boys out to shovel the snow. Get them up early. A lot of eagles and hawks in this area. A lot of eagles. Frank T., my niece's manager for the American. <laughs> nice. Still falling. Barefoot cabin, what's up? Many coyotes. Uh, I've seen a few tracks. Ever try and get any? Yeah, I've snared coyotes in the past. I haven't tried this year, though. No icebergs, though. No icebergs yet, Sean. That probably won't be till May, I think. Probably May and June, like that. That's usually iceberg season, I think. How's the COVID situation there? Not too bad, but... There's been, there was an outbreak now in the high school, one of the high schools in St. John's there. So, 11 cases today or something. Thank you, Gerald.
Branding a knife after 13 prevail. Yeah. Like this one, you mean? Yeah. Keith, check out Colin Molesworthy, man. He's he, he built me a custom knife there, and he's got a. I don't know if he's got any right now, but I know a few people's after buying them. The Prevail. That's the that's the prototype one right here. Oh, still got some blood on there from my moose. <laughs> Probably clean that up. What community did I grow up in? Little Catalina. Kitchen any mice? No mice. Are they for sale? Yes, sir. They are for sale. Yep. Not from me, but from my knife builder. Kyle knows where they. It's in the description of all my videos there. My knife builder. and It'll be his contact and his YouTube channel. And he's actually got some videos where he built that knife for me. 13 prevail. My favorite number, favorite word. Marco. I don't sell them, but Kyle does. Kyle knows where he's, uh, he's the one who built the knife for me. Named it after me. And uh, he's got them for sale, yep. Living Simple Homestead. What's up, buddy? 22 degrees, eh? Phoenix. Nice, Tobin Lake. Which one you got, man? You got the bake apple? I like that little bake apple he makes. Matt, where are you, man? You must be in Alberta, 45 below. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard a few people tell me a few people have told me diesel now around the cabin will keep, keep the ants away, but the ants, I think, are in the logs, eh? Thank you, Maurice. See me in the UFC? No, sir, you'll never see me in the UFC, you know. My cage fighting days are over. You might see me. I might uh, do some jiu-jitsu tournaments in the future. We'll see. See how the pandemic pans out here. Good day tomorrow for shooting content. Yeah, I was shooting content all day today, actually. Oh, my God, my back's fucked. For into fighting? No, I did, uh, I did do some fighting back in the day. I fought at 135, 135, 135 pounds. And uh, I only fought twice, but I won both fights, so 2008 and 2009. But I just recently got back into jiu-jitsu here, so. But uh, it's not for fighting, that's for sure. It's just for, I might uh, compete in some tournaments or something. Yeah, my first fight was at Rexaw Place, actually in Edmonton, and uh, that was in Cage, that was for King of the Cage Canada, and then I fought in 2009 in North Vancouver. That fight was in a ring. It was still an MMA fight, but I have one of Kyle's bake apple knives. Okay, yeah. Beauty law knife. Where do I get the music for my videos? That's um Epidemic Sound. Epidemic Sound and uh 
I think I have it in the description. And uh, if you go, if you use my link, then I get a, a month free or something. So that'd be awesome if you sign up. Cooking anything good tonight? You gotta watch the video tomorrow night, huh? You'll see then. Never responded, eh? I know. Uh, I know he's a busy guy, man. Time to crack open a beer. No, I'm gonna have a cup of tea, you know. Um, no, they're not going to extend the hockey season. As a matter of fact, they just shut it down in St. John's. And they just shut down our practices out here for the week because there's a bit of an outbreak in St. John's there. And it was involving uh, high school kids. So, of course, that's minor hockey crowd too. So, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with the hockey, man, but they're not going to extend it, that's for sure. Hopefully it's not done now. Hopefully they don't just shut it down for a season. Cabin is good for keeping heat, man. It's too hot in there right now, actually, even though it's cold outside, but cabin is excellent for keeping heat. The stove is way too big for this cabin, really. Cabin is on Crown Land. Yes, it is, yep. Martha, no, I haven't had any uh, issues with my content, no. Used my link the other day. Nice, buddy. Thank you. I see lots of rabbit tracks around, but I haven't done any snaring yet. JT just bought a 30 pack, eh? You probably didn't buy a 30 pack of my kind of beer. Yes, but I had a good animal there. Lots of meat. Good tasting too. I don't know, Gord, man. It's all good, buddy. Do I sleep in the loft? I hate sleeping in the loft, man. It's too damn hot up there. The boy from kids love it up there. I sleep on the couch here. This one pulls out, right? Pulls out to uh, bed. I sleep down here. Maurice, sorry, buddy. Everyone is just taking off for showers. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean there, Paul. I lived in BC. I can appreciate a good Canadian beer. <laughs> What state am I in right now? I'm not in a state. I'm in a province. Newfoundland, man. What drone do you fly? I have a uh, DJI... DJI uh, Spark.
How do you cook the neck? I don't know, man. The butcher just butchers it all up and gives it back to me. I don't know what's what, to be honest with you. Thank you, Lois. In Newfoundland, yep. Yeah. Newfoundland, Canada. Nope, no limit. No limit to the crown land. As long as I as long as I'm not breaking any laws here, like you know, I'm not polluting the area or anything like that, they'll never have any issues. Or I'll never have any issues with the government. As long as I pay my two hundred dollars a year, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna do some ice fishing for sure. I just want to make sure the ice is safe first. We've had a lot of a lot of mild weather and uh, a lot of running water in the brooks, so it's not really well. It might be safe by the time this weekend rolls around. We'll see. Some people have been ice fishing, but I'm not. I'm not going to risk my life for a brook trout. You know what I mean? Sean, go Leafs, buddy. What we'll score the Leafs game, boys? Anyone know? Saying hi from Wisconsin. What's up? Yeah, I'd say it's more challenging to make too. Yeah, for sure. The moose pudding. Newfoundland is in a rough state. Yes, I guarantee you. Go Habs. Come on now. Did I watch the Super Bowl? No, uh, I can't say I did. I it, it might have been on TV at some point during the evening, but I didn't really watch it. No. What's up, Brad? One to one, not cool. Going into the third. Lisa will be hoisting the cup this year. Ah, I'm just gonna say, I hope you're right. Can't do it that way in Saskatchewan. No, you probably not. You can't do it that way anywhere, I don't think. Hi from Montana. Seen any wolves? No. Nope. They are back on the rock, yeah. But I haven't seen any. I've seen uh, tracks before that seem way too big to be coyote tracks, but... Who knows, right? How much moose meat did I get? Two deep fridge or deep freezers full is what I got. Habs and Leafs tomorrow. Keith, what are you saying? Thought you were in Ontario there, buddy. Hello from Sweden. How's it going? Is it it's tough being a Leafs fan? Yeah, it is tough being a Leafs fan, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we have black bear here. Black bear and we have caribou too. Leaf's gonna miss Simmons, yep. Yeah. Four weeks? I thought he was out six weeks, but I like four weeks better, Fred. Who's my favorite UFC fighter? Uh, that's a tough one, man. Back in the day, I used to like Sean Shirk a lot. Back in the day. But I've always liked Clay Guida, yeah. He's pretty good. Man, that's a tough one. GSP, of course. 
Chuck Liddell back in the day. Hello from Brampton. I used to live in Brampton, man. Lived in Brampton. Long time. What's going on with Justin Barber? I have no idea, man. I haven't been talking to him. Do the kids and your wife eat the moose meat? Of course, yep. I am but born in Quebec, eh, Keith? Yeah, I guess your last name does look kind of French. You gonna eat a cougar tonight? That's awesome, man. Teddy Ash, yeah. I've got buddies that train with him, actually. Buddies I train with back in the day. KB, KB Buhler, I don't know if you guys know him. He, just, he had a fight uh, in January, I think, in the UFC. His UFC debut. We used to train with him. When I trained with him, he was 16, man. He was kicking my ass all over the place. At 16 years old. Do you own any John Deere equipment? I work for John Deere here in Iowa. Nope. I don't own any John Deere. I'm not sure what my moose was, man. I, I wish I weighed it, but I didn't, eh? Yeah, Sean, it is one to one. Yeah, a few people came back there and said it was one to one. A few more minutes, guys, and I gotta take off. My tea bag is steep in there. <laughs> you know, it's Teddy, eh? I actually bought tires off his uncle, man. <laughs> Believe it or not, I met him by. Uh, they were for sale. I was on a hockey tournament with the kids, and. Uh, he had them posted on Facebook for sale or something, so I met him in uh, met him by Whitburn there. The gas station's by Whitburn. More lands. I lived in Brampton, man. I lived uh geez, I lived uh right by the mall there, Bramley City Center. I lived right by the Kensington or something 10 Kensington was the building I also lived in another building just down the street there big the tallest building there's a bunch of buildings there together and they all look similar and I lived in one of them too and I lived in a couple of basement apartments up further up north up Dix up Dixie that way Dixie and uh, Manitou Crescent or something jeez I can't remember man it was uh, 17 years ago now 18 years ago Smash that like button, friends. Thank you, Gerald. Video pauses then comes back, so it must be time for me to go. See you later. See you, Lois. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, guys, I'm going to take off. Make sure you watch the video tomorrow night now. Thank you, Dennis. Just leaving, man. Trap lines and in lines. No, I've never seen it. Not worth shit, not, eh, Keith? Okay, guys, we'll see us. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Appreciate it. See us.